Today on RC101, we're going to take a look at the Isheen QX90 Tiny FPV Quadcopter. This is one of the smallest FPV quadcopters in the world. You can pick one up from banggood.com for 60 to 70 bucks. Pretty good deal. This is a bind and fly version, so I'm going to have to connect this to a transmitter. Let's take a look at everything we get in this little teeny tiny package here. Of course, we've got a spare motor there and it looks like a second spare motor there that's good they are brushed motors but they should be pretty powerful of course a spare set of props and uh, connectors there we have two batteries here these are 3.7 volt 600 milliamp rechargeable batteries nice standard connector there so that's good and let's take a look at the instructions here let's see not too terribly much there just basically one page but it gives us a little bit about the binding procedure and arming and disarming the aircraft and let's go ahead and take a look at the aircraft the one of the world's smallest FPV racers. Oh wow, that is tiny. Look at that. That is beautiful right there. Here is our FPV video transmitter and antenna. Had to be bent down to fit in that little package. Let's go ahead and bend it up. Nice little uh, video transmitter there. Really nice, cute, tiny little FPV camera. And of course, here is our receiver right here, and uh, our bind button, and a USB port for programming it. I mean, this is a tiny, tiny little racer. It is absolutely beautiful. I am really looking forward to charging this up, binding it to a transmitter, and testing it out. So let's grab a transmitter, let's charge the batteries, and see how it flies. Okay, so the QX90 bind and fly version needs a transmitter, and the instructions let us know that it uses an FR Sky compatible 8 channel receiver. Now, FR Sky compatible receivers are pretty common. It's a nice tiny little receiver right there. There's our bind button there. And the instructions give us really simple instructions on how to bind it to a Tyrannus, Tyrannus, Tyrannus transmitter. But unfortunately, I don't have a $200 Tyrannus transmitter lying around. However, I do have quite a few FlySky FSI6 transmitters and the rebranded version, the Ishii i 6 transmitter. Now, the uh, FlySky FSI6 allows you to turn on PPM support, and um, I also have a Devo 7 transmitter here. I spent the past few hours trying to research these and see if there's any way to bind any of these transmitters to this aircraft without having to solder in some kind of module or something like that. Um, I didn't have any luck with it. Uh, I sent an email to banggood.com. They're going to see if they can help me out with it. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features of this aircraft because it is an interesting, nice little aircraft. It has a rubber band that holds this uh, FPV camera on here. There are dip switches right there for uh, changing frequencies. Of course, you'll notice the uh, camera and the rotors are quite close, so we will be able to see these rotors in the camera. And in fact, let's go ahead and turn it on because we can go ahead and check out the FPV camera and it comes with two of these 3.7 volt 600 milliamp batteries and it also comes with a piece of double-sided sticky foam to help you secure these to the bottom of the aircraft there but each one fits really nicely and the legs like that and it holds it in place let's go ahead and plug this in and it should go ahead and connect to this FPV monitor there. And as you can see, that is a wide angle lens right there. That is a really uh, decent picture we're getting there. And, uh, you know, it's uh, nice, no latency there. 
decent image. Uh, no static in this internal environment here. We'll have to test it outside and see how it fares, but of course you can see the rotors quite prominently right here. So when they're spinning around, you'll definitely be able to see them in the camera. <sighs> spinning around. But that's a really nice wide-angle lens right there. Very nice picture. Very clean. Very smooth. Really looking forward to testing that out and seeing how it looks through a pair of VR glasses. Another really nice little feature they've got is the uh, battery charging cable here. It's actually a... Uh, dual battery charger and it's just got a uh, standard battery plug there so I'm actually gonna try and uh, test out my Ishin Touch T100 charger here and see if I can charge these batteries up with it because you can charge both batteries at the same time but if you're using this charger then you have to charge two batteries at the same time because it's a balanced charge plug. You can charge the battery separately with a standard charger but we're going to see if we can get this aircraft bound to a transmitter. In the meantime, we appreciate you guys checking out RC 101 with the Taoist Flyer. As always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.